Hello everyone, welcome back to CFC. It's time to discuss about Chelsea and it's time to discuss the three things Mauricio Pochettino has to do to even compete against Brighton, let alone get a result. And Pochettino has to get the campaign back on track. We can go one month literally without a goal. In this month, we have not even scored a goal and we might go a whole month without even scoring a goal. We lost to Nottingham Forest in international break, then drew to Bournemouth 0-0 and now lost at home to Aston Villa. We have two away games coming up in the Premier League against Fulham Burnley, the last home game against Brighton in the Carabao Cup and we need to take it seriously. The manager needs to go full threat in this match. This is not even part of my three things. Poch has to go full strength. He has to give this trophy importance. If we can win the Carabao Cup trophy, we just not don't, don't get Europa League qualification, which right now looks really difficult in the league. We also win a trophy and get something in this youngsters, the motivation. So Poch has to take it seriously. So the first thing Poch you know, has to do is the basics and play players in their right position. I love you, Pochettino, but stop this Levy Colwell at left back. Stop this Enzo Fernandez as a number 10. Stop this Conor Gallagher playing along with Caicedo and Chilwell earlier in the season playing as a left wing. We have such a bright preseason. And the last thing this young squad needs is their confidence to be shattered by playing out of position. Levy Colwell is such a good deliverer of the ball. You've got uh, Mudrik who is such a good left wing. Chilwell is a natural left back even if he's out of form. And if Chilwell is out of form, you rather play the young kid Mark Sane. But don't change the position of the team. And on Enzo Fernandez, he's not a number 10. And Conor Gallagher is not a player that should be near to the defender helping us play from the back. That has never been his role. If you can't even set the team right, you're never going to win a football match. And as much as we are creating chances, the position of the team is not helping us. We cannot attack from the left side. Everything comes to the right side. And that brings me to the second point. In this match against Brighton, I want to see Livy Colville playing as a left centre-back. I want to see Chilwell play as a left back or even Mark Sane. But as the manager has said, Chilwell is likely to play this game and Mudrik as a left wing. The problem for Chelsea this season has been that everything has come through right. Gusto, Sterling, Gusto, Sterling. Nothing is coming from the left side. In the last match, Mudrik was all on his alone because Levy Colville is more like a defensive side and left back. So he always shifts a bit inner near to the Thiago Silva. So there's no one which Mudrik can link to. And this is why Mudrik is isolated. Mudrik cannot do one-on-one -on -one with a defender. And when he tries, he's in a one-on-two -on situation and he loses the ball. And there's no wit. While Gusto Sterling combine well, we create a lot of danger. And the left side right now is very empty. You go to the top sides in the league. They create a lot of danger from both the sides and not just one side. And Levy Colville is a very good deliverer of the ball. The guy can really whip in some very good long balls. Chilwell can attack really well. Mudrik can attack very well. They both can overlap each other. Colwell can put some good long balls to Chilwell. Chilwell to Mudrik. And we can be a much more danger in this match. And the third thing I really want to come is another player that has to start this game is Cole Palmer. And whether you drop Gallagher or whether you drop Enzo Fernandez, I think in this match Gallagher has to be dropped. And I want to see Enzo Fernandez play near to Casado and Palmer play the number 10 role. In the last match, when Palmer came off as a substitute, he made more impact than any of our attackers. His passing, his precision, his positioning. The guy is one of our best creative players. The guy is a better attacker than uh, Enzo Fernandez. And he's a much more natural number 10 for me than Enzo Fernandez. And he has a much better chance of scoring goals than Enzo Fernandez. And this is why Enzo Fernandez is a dictator of the ball. Enzo Fernandez is a player that should be playing along with Caicedo, helping us play from the back, helping us sometimes defensively, carrying the ball from the back so that attackers have a bit of link from attack to midfield. That is what Enzo Fernandez's role should be. And Enzo Fernandez should always be near to Caicedo, where Caicedo wins the ball back. Enzo can help us start the play and suddenly counter. But Enzo Fernandez is not a natural number 10. He's not a natural goal scorer. He never overlaps along with Mudrik and we are always in trouble. While playing Cole Palmer there, he will overlap with Mudrik. He will overlap even with Sterling and we will have much more attacking potency, creativity. And this is the three things for me Pochettino must do. Now, I'm not saying we'll win the match by this, but at least we'll have a better chance of at least scoring one goal in this match or two, which Pochettino right now is not doing. I know the players are missing from two yards, which is not the manager mistake. But by playing this line now, we can even create more and more and more chances. But when we play Enzo Fernandez as number 10, Conor Gallagher as CDM, we are not helping ourselves and Poch is not helping ourselves. And this is why, as you can see here, this is the lineup I think Chelsea should play in this match. In this lineup, we have Desazi, who is more like defensive right back. We have enough cover at the back with uh, Moses Casado. 
we are taking on a Brighton team who are competing in the Europa League where they lost their first game in the Premier League. So that will be heavily changed Brighton lineup. And this is why we should be beating them. And this is why we should be going full strength lineup. And with this lineup, we can take on the attack, we can find the spaces, and we can really threaten Brighton in this match. This is a match about a pride. This is a match about saving the club's future. And Carabao Cup is important for us this season because winning this trophy does not only guarantee Europa League football, it gives these youngsters a bit of taste for winning trophies and also can kickstart a bit of like resurgence in form for us. This is why we need to take it seriously and this is the best lineup we can take into this match. No need to be defensive anymore. We might be taking on Brighton's second string squad and we need to beat, beat them and take a bit of positivity before the two, I will say, must win Premier League games. And this is why we need to play this lineup, go for the attack. In this lineup, Mudrik Chilwell will provide a bit of threat from the left. From the right side, we could be a bit weaker, but that could be served by bringing Palmer a bit a bit towards the right side. So we have the threat from the right side, threat from the left side. Will Palmer as a number 10 will have more creativity. Nicholas Jackson will play as a forward where he will have a better chance to get his form uh, back on track. And when Caicedo wins the ball back, he has a natural midfielder to make a pass to, which is Enzo Fernandez. And Conor Gallagher is not a CDM. And will Levy Colville as centre back? He can pull nice balls towards Mudrik and Chilwell, and we can attack much better. This is my opinion on what three things Paul should uh, do to beat Brighton. Let me know your opinion. Like and subscribe. Thank you, and wishing you all the best. Thank you.